Pressure tape, relax deeper. What floor? What floor? What floor? That's right. What floor? That's right. What floor? What floor? What floor? What floor? What floor? That's right. What floor? What floor? That's right. Now, I'll go around there and make the test over here. What floor? That's right. What floor? That's right. What floor? What floor? What floor? That's right. And what floor? That's right. What floor? That's right. What floor? What floor? That's right. What floor? What floor? What floor? What floor? Tell you probably a lot deeper. Some of them are already at floor C, friends. I can tell you that. But uh, many, uh, everybody is at floor A, and they don't realize that some of them have relaxed to the point already where they have reached it. Now we're going to start out for floor B. In order to get to floor B, we must relax twice as much as you've relaxed already. And when you get to floor B. If it becomes difficult for you to form the words, your, if your muscles are so relaxed that you can't make your muscles, uh, or your vocal muscles, and the muscles of your mouth form the words, don't worry about it. That's exactly what our aim is, is to get you to the point where not a muscle in your body will work, where they're so relaxed they won't work. So don't worry if you can't, but make every effort to say that letter B when you feel yourself at B. All right, one, two, three, here go the elevators and escalators, you're all on them. Here we go down. There we go. Now, we're going down to floor B. And just double your relaxation. Just let everything go. Just, uh, many of you are there already, I know. Let me hear you, those who feel that they're there already, just try to say the letter B. Try to say, that's right. That's right. Those who are there, say it. That's right. Get to the floor B. That's very important that you get to floor B. And I think they're all at floor B. Let's let's find out. Some seem to have you having difficulty forming the words. What floor? What floor? What floor? What floor? What floor? That's right. If you can't say, don't worry. What floor? Don't don't try it. That is try, but... Oh, yeah. All right. What floor? What floor? That's right. That's right. What floor? 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 That's right. Oh, I'm sorry. What floor? I know you're there. I know you're there. And I don't worry about you with the floor. And I don't want to go below the half floor floor. That's right. Fuck floor. That's right. Fuck floor. Can't say it either. There's so many of them that are at the basement of relaxation already. Fuck floor. Fuck floor. That's right. Fuck floor. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Okay, that's all right. Now, some of them have arrived at the basement so beautifully already. Many of them have, in fact. Now we're going down to the actual basement. Some of you are starting to give off the signs already that you're at the basement. Now, to get to floor C, which is the actual basement, every muscle in your body must relax. 
every muscle in your body to the point where even if you told those muscles to work, they wouldn't work. That's how, and even if you tried to make them work, they wouldn't work. Now we're going down to floor C. One, two, three, and here we go, all the way down to the basement this time. Now, when you feel yourself relaxing and right at the basement, try your darndest to say the letter C. And if you can't make any muscle work, that's fine. Some of you are there already, and I'm going to begin making the tests because I can see that some of you have reached it already. Now, I'm going to start making tests, and only the one that I uh, touch, please, uh, is the only one that pays any attention to me. Beautiful. See that? Did all of you see that? See, she's been giving off the signs for, for, oh, about five minutes or more. And as so many of them in, this, in the first and second rows have, I haven't been able to watch the, the third. Watch this. Passed the test so beautifully. So beautifully. I passed the test so beautifully.
I want you to notice that in each case, not a word of suggestion has been given. And there is no one in the world who can dispute what I say that nature sets up her own anesthesia when you reach this state. What's so beautifully these, these women, every one of them. <coughs> Every one of them, beautifully passing these tests. Every one of them having anesthesia. She has a so beautiful The one in Yeah, and one, one in blue up here. Let's keep your eyes closed. Just keep your eyes closed. I mean, I'll test you after that. I'll be making a test right here. I'll be making a test right here. Three. Out of 47 that did not pass that test, that's a pretty high average. Let me point out the ones that didn't so that you know. Here is the one, the one, one, two, three, fourth from the end in the third row. What? Right? That's all. Right. Well, that's all. Now, I had. I had three of them. I had uh, this one right here, and then Fear. This this one in the second row has it, but Fear got in there some way and spoiled it for her temporarily. She has it. Now, the other three can't have it, the ones who didn't get it. But three out of 47 not to get perfect anesthesia, when you take Alice Cramps and go to the second notch without a word of suggestion being given, I want to point this out to you, that this is the automatic anesthesia which occurs in the coma state. And this is what is known as the coma state. Now, uh, Erickson and all the others to the contrary. Erickson, the one who said that, that uh, only one in a hundred can reach this state. I want you people who join Erickson's forces, and there are several here, to understand that Erickson has never been able to do this because he doesn't know how to teach you how to do it, and he doesn't know how to do it himself. No, but there's, there's, there's uh, several of you tried to join his, his uh, journal of psychosomatic or experimental hypnosis, and we're told that studying with me, you're not eligible for their course because you haven't studied under proper auspices. And nobody in the world can produce this except my doctors and me. And I say this to you because I want you to see that if this wasn't possible, you wouldn't have brought all these people here. <coughs> now remember, 47 people, 44 of them got it. That's a pretty good average, isn't it? And Erickson says only one in a hundred can get it. And the three that didn't get it can get it. There's tiny fears in there or something. They don't quite believe. They don't... They won't let themselves go, and so they didn't reach the basement as they were supposed to. But now watch. Those same people can let themselves go. The little girl in the second row on the end, she did let herself go. I don't count her as a failure. I'm talking now about this, this little girl right over here in this second row with a sort of auburn hair. There's no failure there. A fear crept in there. And afterwards, I'm going to ask her about the fear because she can have her baby just as painlessly as any of the others without further conditioning. But a fear got in there and spoiled the state for me and for her. But the others uh, all had anesthesia because nobody can let an Alice clamp dangle from their arm the way we have those Alice clamps dangling without having anesthesia. You might be to able to tolerate it at the first notch, for an instance, but you couldn't go to the second notch and, and leave a dangle from your arm the way I did and the way my wife did. And they're tight out as clamps. Now, that's 25% of the state. But I said nature gives off four signs. Our old students can, 
can know pretty well when they're beginning to reach the coma by the signs they give off before they get to it. But these are not signs that are the same on every person, so we don't count those signs. We just know from training when they're beginning to reach the coma. But now that they have reached it, do you see my description of the lady on the end? Was I right? So you can tell she's got such a beautiful state there that, that you just know. She's just going to, uh, just going to burn so easily that, uh, and everyone else as far as that goes. But I want you to see the, the depth of relaxation that they get. Let's go for the second test. Here's the second test. Keep your bodies so relaxed now that the muscles just won't work even when you give them orders to work. Have every muscle in your body so relaxed that not a muscle will work, even if you give it orders to. Now, I'm going to ask you to raise your right arm, and I want you to try awfully hard to raise your right arm at the count of three. One, two, three. Raise your right arm. See how few could raise it. Now, let those muscles relax, go down another floor so that when you give orders to your right arm to raise, it won't raise. Let your arms down, please. Now, I'm going to give that order again, and you try just as hard to raise your arm, but go down another floor so that even when you tell your muscles to work, they won't work. Now, one, two, three, raise your right arm. And a couple of them are still able to do it. All right, put, uh, let your arm down. It means that those people have to be taken down another flight so that they have the, the absolute true state. Now, keep yourself just as relaxed. Now, when I tell you to, try to open your eyes. One, two, three, try to open them. And you see they just won't open. That's right. Now, if any eyes open, that means you have to go down another floor. Close your eyes again, that's all. It means you have to go down another floor. Now, there's 75% of the test, and practically everyone has made that 75%. Now let's make it 100%, because the next test always follows, and the next test always occurs. If they get this state, you can depend upon it, but sooner or later, the fourth sign will show up. will show up. Sooner or later it will show up. And don't worry about it. If it doesn't show up right away, it, uh, it will show up. Come up and test in, in the other rows, please. You see that fourth sign is button. Uh, otherwise, it's going to take too long for this phase of it. Come on up, Doctor. Go to the second row. 
go to the second and third row, and I'll be working with this with, with this row again because I know they've got it. There it is. Yeah, but don't say it. Don't, 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 don't say it. See, it always happens. It, it always happens. for this little thing where it had, it would all have had it. Every one of them would have had it in the entire room. Just a little bit of worry and anxiety so we didn't get that fourth test the way I'd like to get it. Here's a woman who had it. <coughs> now, gentlemen, there is enough here so I'm going to ask the new students to go around and feel that waxen-like quality which is the catatonia which always occurs in this state eventually. Some, it occurs sooner or later. Oh, yes. 
Now, before I do rouse them, however, and I want to show you how simple that rousing is, I want to make sure that each one of them has a cue by which they, they can instantly achieve this state whenever necessary. Anytime your doctor or your nurse puts his hand on your shoulder like that, you will instantly go into this deep basement of relaxation. Anytime your doctor or nurse puts his hand on your shoulder like that, you will instantly go into the deep state, the basement of relaxation. Anytime your doctor puts his hand on your shoulder or your nurse puts the hand on your shoulder, you will instantly go into the, the same deep basement of relaxation. You will instantly go into the same deep state of relaxation with this cue. The hand on the shoulder will be your cue that instantly enter this deep state of relaxation. You can go much deeper each time. And any time the doctor puts his hand, puts his hand on your shoulder like that, you will be able to go into the same deep state of relaxation. Any time your doctor or your nurse puts his hand on your shoulder like that, like that, you will instantly be able to achieve this deep state of relaxation again. Now, any time. I'm sorry. Anytime your doctor or nurse puts his hand on his shoulder like that, you will instantly be able to go into this deep state of relaxation again. And so it will be with each person here. That, uh, uh, put his hand on your shoulder like that. Put his hand on your shoulder like that. Put his hand on your shoulder. Well, I'm sorry if I, if I bother anybody getting by here. Anytime your doctor or nurse puts his hand on your shoulder like that. Put his hand on your shoulder like that. Put your hand on your shoulder like that. Put your hand on your shoulder like that. All of you will be able to enter the same deep state of relaxation instantly. Anytime. Hand on your shoulder like that. Anytime. You will instantly be able to achieve the deep state of relaxation. And now watch how we're going to ask them again to open their eyes. Notice the number of people who can't open their eyes. And then, even though they're trying, and then I'm going to show you how to bring them out of it if they can. So, I'm going to say once again, I'm going to count to three, and I want you to try to open your eyes if you can. One, two, three, open your eyes if you can. And they can't, see? Now, watch how we, uh, watch how we bring them out of the state very, very easily. Let's start with this woman who is still very, very deep here. You know, there comes a time when the doctor tells you that if you don't, uh, you know, raise your head and open your eyes, so you can come up with flight and open your eyes. Now she can have this wonderful thing, and so now you can come up with flight and open your eyes. That's right. And that's what would you feel? No wonderful theory? Well, you like that, huh? Now, the same is true of you. You can come up with flight and open your eyes. You can come up with flight and open your eyes. And you can come up a flight and open your eyes. In fact, all of you can come up a flight and open your eyes and notice how good you feel. And notice how wonderful you feel. Isn't that a wonderful feeling? Huh? And now, you can come up a flight and open your eyes. You can do it. Here she can. And open your eyes and notice how good you feel. And you can come up that flight and open your eyes. And then nice feeling. And uh, you can open your eyes and feel wonderful. So can you and so can you. And now, now, well, it's how good you feel. Now, you can come up with lights and open your eyes. That's how good you feel. How do you feel? Is that a wonderful state? Now, Pauline, do you want to go through this third row? And, and if they can't open their eyes, help them. Well, ladies, how'd you like that lovely experience, huh? Come up with lights and open your eyes. Now, <laughs> are everybody up? No, all right. You will let you have that wonderful state if you don't obey his orders, so don't you go back in and let me tell you. Now, doctor, I would like you instantly to test the cue. In other words, I want you to touch the shoulders of each of your patients and see how instantly they go right back into the state again. All right, will you? What? Right. It's going to be working. Yes. How many you got of them up there? Okay. All right. Good work. Come on, everybody. Everybody who has patients, come up and let's watch this one first. All right. Thank <laughs> you.